All right, tropical showers are moving closer and we got to talk about the forecast. So let's start with the rain chances that we're gearing up for tomorrow, putting us at about 20% widely scattered showers here and there. But the bulk of the energy and the activity starts to move in Friday, Saturday and into Sunday. We've had some changes and it was expected that we'd see some changes here and there. And so as we look at the models and the way they're trending, it looks like we're going to see an area of low pressure develop over to our east that's going to bring about some additional rain so let's start the story here we'll start with hurricane francine now category one hurricane we know it's going to make landfall later today as a category one winds of about 90 miles per hour once it starts to head inland it weakens down to a tropical storm that's the center of circulation it continues to advance to the north keeping a lot of the moisture there but also allowing for a lot of the tropical moisture to surge east let's go ahead and get south carolina Carolina in on this story. So we're looking at an area of low pressure that's expected to form down near Florida. Yes, we see what happens with Francine as the category one weakens down to a tropical storm. Well, it starts to send a lot of that moisture surging over to parts of the southeast. That area of low pressure that we're kind of watching very closely, it begins to develop and then it sort of starts robbing us of a lot of the rain we were expecting to be here during the daytime hours Friday. So you can't just have everybody getting all of the energy. There's only so much to go around. And so with this low developing off to our east, it is pulling in some of our moisture. So instead of there being just all day deluge of rain for us in South Carolina, we're going to see some of that moisture kind of starting to develop around that low pressure center. As that happens, we're then going to see some of that moisture being sent back in from North Carolina coming in from the east and then sort of pushing in into the Carolinas. This is going to give us that ongoing opportunity for rain. Yes, we'll get some of the tropical showers associated with Francine, but most of our energy will kind of come in from this low that's going to redevelop over to our east. And guess what? Francine's not the only game in town. We've got a couple of other ones that we're talking about. We're keeping an eye on. We do have a low pressure that's off the coast of Africa that could possibly develop and get stronger. That could be Gordon. We're watching that one very closely. They're now calling it tropical depression number seven. After that, the next name on the list is Helen and then Isaac. So we'll see what happens as the rest of those names get going. The bottom line is you're going to need the umbrella. Keep it around. You're going to need it for several days on in 83 for this afternoon. Cloud cover, cooler temperatures, breezy conditions, 67 overnight. And then we're right around 80 for tomorrow as a shower start off and on showers for your Friday. Rain continues to move in for the weekend. Notice how the temperatures are just hovering right around that 80 degree mark here. So expect that to be the trend. Your overnight lows start to dip to the upper 60s, low 70s into next week. We finally see some clearing, but it's probably not going to come until the second half of the work week.